why nice people are basically kicked out from the corporate job you know what i have seen whenever you are too nice in any kind of a corporate job whenever you join as a fresher as a experienced person a new job what happens is you are too nice what happens nice basically means you are trying to give a very positive a feedback to everyone you want to satisfy everyone right around you in this case you basically make five type of mistakes in this video i'm going to talk about why if you make these kind of mistakes or why nice guys are basically kicked out of the corporate job if you do this definitely trust me you will basically add some red flags to your job right so as a fresher as experienced person right whenever you are joining a new corporate job these things you need to keep in mind so let's get started and let's discuss this very very important topic from my 10 years of 11 years experience as a qa manager all right the first one is the saying no you actually don't say no to the opportunities you know what what happens when i when i have started right there was a manager right there was a manager assigned to me and he started giving me some task and i said okay uh, i know that i can do almost seven task but he used to assign me 10 task and i didn't say no i said okay no i will do it i will try to do it right i will try to do it as much as i can i will try to do 11 task what happens i was not able to deliver those seven task properly i tried my best i tried my best and i still was unable to not able to convince or tried my best to do it around seven or eight task right? it what happens that manager said pramod what you have done is uh, you have basically missed out two he was not happy that instead of seven i was able to deliver one more but he was disappointed because i have not done the extra two so saying no is a very important tip that you need to basically take care don't be too nice tell them clearly set a clear expectation with your manager hey manager i can do only seven task i will try my best to do it one more that's it if you are giving me 10 task this is not possible within a span of the whatever time duration that you are giving because i have to keep my buffer also i have to keep a buffer of test case writing documentation ad hoc work and everything so make sure you say no that is very very important learning second important point which is difficult making the tough decisions you know what uh, when i was uh, when i joined a corporate company right i was into essential right i was doing a service based company it was amazing experience i was doing fantastic but whenever there is a choice whenever there are decisions right i was not able to make for example suppose i have to basically call a client and tell them this is a risk or something right i was not doing that because i thought okay it will be very uh, if they know about it right they will feel bad that this is not possible or we are not able to deliver on time or whatever it is right they will feel bad so because i was very so nice to them right they always want to hear some good things from me but trust me you have to convey the bad thing also you have to take the tough decision you have to convey them clearly all the clients all the in the corporate job but i have but i have learned is that you have to convey whatever they want to listen you have if there is a negative thing you have to convey them clearly this is very very important trust me guys pay attention to what i am trying to say if there is a red flag into the project if there is something which is basically you will not able to deliver tell them clearly because they don't you have don't you don't have to be nice to them okay we will try to do it and you are just basically grinding yourself on saturday sunday to do it right don't do that let them know on friday we are not able to complete this we will start again on monday and saturday sunday we are not working and so it will be a delay don't be too nice on this trust me it will basically hamper your progress your career growth your skill your well your everything i mean your peace of mind also okay third important point is lack of self promotion guys if you are too nice right trust me you don't promote yourself you don't basically your visibility is very low if you are too nice because what happens was they said okay when my manager i was very nice to my manager right my manager is like okay pramod has oh, pramod will do it right pramod will do it pramod is nice pramod is nothing pramod will say yes to everything so this is the attitude this attitude actually will help for your career growth what will happen is they will expect everything from you i mean they they will take you granted if you are too nice to them that's why one of the reason red flag you will add is that hey pramod i think it is not adding much value and that they will just have a these kind of attitude in their mind so this is very important you need to pay attention okay fourth important point difficult with the conflict management if you are too nice you will not conflict with them you don't put your 
inputs so i remember there was a risk involved whenever we were we were delivering to a client right and i was like no 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 i will not tell them i will try to do my task on saturday sunday or something like this because i am this will be a conflict right there will be very conflict okay or uh, this is not possible if within the timeline a uh, client will be very angry on this right don't be too nice on this said them tell them clearly and if there is a conflict trust me don't be too nice on them tell them clearly this is what will be happening fifth important point which is very very important which is perception of too passive or easily manipulated whenever you are very very uh, you are basically presenting yourself as a nice guy right or a nice person what happen is you can be easily manipulated i remember there was a choice where we have to choose certain tools for automation right and people said okay we will choose Q- qtplm because some somebody says something like this i was easily manipulated because first of all i was not proactive everyone thought okay i am very easily man- manipulated so they try to manipulated me but after that i have learned a very hard lesson that don't be don't do that if you know the things you have to be proactive you know the you should be prepared for the these kind of meeting and don't get easily manipulated because the the more you are easily manipulated this is actually a red flag into your corporate job this is very very important so these are the five important lessons mistakes whatever you can call it i hope this helps let me know if these kind of videos are helpful for you because i know many of you are joining service this company and corporate world right now as a fresher these things trust me will help you to these mistakes you don't want to have to make because you have to learn from the others mistake you cannot learn from your own mistake i mean life is too short to learn from your own mistake so learn from others okay that is what we have to do and job job ready automation tester july batch if you are a manual tester fresher who wants to jump into the automation this is the right time in the four months we are basically covering the api automation and web automation with the four plus projects cucumber vdd also we are covering cyber side and ci cd so make sure you join the automation batch link in the description uh, july batch is on enrollment started i'll see you in the next video bye bye